Hey there folks and welcome to another dive down the MIDI rabbit hole. Today we're looking at MIDI program changes. What are they? How can you use them? How do they work? And what on earth are MSB and LSB? My previous videos on MIDI have helped many people, so stick around and hopefully you'll find this one useful too. But if you have any questions, please post them in the comments and I will get back to you. So, have you ever been working with a hardware synth on a MIDI track? in your door and you've got the sound dialed in just the way you want it and then you close the project down and when you open it later you can't remember which sound you were using. Well using MIDI program changes you can save that preset in your door so that next time you open the project your synth or synths will automatically load the correct presets. Or you want to change a patch halfway through playing a live song, but you don't want to press loads of buttons to try to get to that preset, you just want to press one button or maybe a foot switch. Well, again, that's where MIDI program changes come in. But what are they and how do they work? Well, a MIDI program change is a message or series of messages that can be sent to a synthesizer telling it what preset to play. Some call these sounds, patches, performance or programs, but let's call them presets for now. A program change can be comprised of three messages. An MSB or most significant byte, an LSB or least significant byte, and a PC or program change message. Each of these three messages can have a value from 0 to 127. Now you don't need to know all the technical jargon like what most or least significant byte actually means, but it does help to know a little bit of the basics about why there are three messages, MSB, LSB and PC, and why the values are 0 to 127. You see, MIDI messages are 7-bit binary numbers, and in this format, the maximum value is 1-1-1-1-1-1, or 7 ones, as you're limited to 7 digits and binary only uses 1s and zeros. If we convert this to decimal, the first digit equals 64, the second 32, the third 16, then 8, 4, 2 and 1. If we add all those together it equals 127, but as computing values start from 0 this gives us 128 values from 0 to 127. A single PC or program change message can therefore choose from up to 128 presets. However nowadays many synths have way more than that with workstations, like my MODX8 Plus here, having many thousands of presets. To overcome this limitation, manufacturers group presets into banks, and MSB and LSB messages can be used to access those banks. In essence, the MSB and or LSB relate to what bank the preset is in, and the PC message relates to the preset number within that bank. Adding an LSB message allows access to 128 banks, each containing 128 presets, so 16,384 presets in total. Adding an MSB message multiplies the bank options by another 128, giving 16,384 banks each containing 128 presets, meaning over 2 million presets could be accessed. Now, there aren't any synths out there with 2 million presets, but different synths use the MSB, LSB and PC values in different ways in order to store them. For example, my DeepMind 12 has 1024 presets arranged in banks labelled A to H. With each bank, containing 128 presets. The DeepMind doesn't use MSB, just LSB and PC messages. So if I wanted preset E88, as shown on the screen here, the LSB would be 4, telling the synth to access bank E, and the PC message 88, telling the synth to access the 88th preset in that bank. The LSB is 4 because bank E is the fifth bank. 
for example, A, B, C, D, E. And if we start counting from zero, as computers do, the fifth value is actually four, as in zero, one, two, three, four. Now let's look at my matrix brute. This only has 256 presets, so you'd think that would be two banks of 128. But no, there are 16 banks, each containing 16 presets. The banks are labelled in rows, A to P, with the presets in each row numbered 1 to 16. And unlike the DeepMind, the matrix brute doesn't use LSB, it only uses MSB. So if I wanted preset F12 here, the MSB would be 5 and the PC 12 as when it comes to the MSB value, bank F is the sixth bank and five is the sixth value. And then of course, for the PC value, we want the 12th preset in that bank. The polybrute is then different again. This has 768 presets arranged in eight banks, each containing 96 presets. For example, this patch is 3G8, which means it's in bank three, you can see lit up here, and it's on row G, and it's the eighth preset. But in reality, this is the 56th preset in bank three. So it would be MSB2 for bank three, and PC56 for the 56th preset. I also have an MODX8+, Plus, which has well over 2000 presets. And this uses a much more elaborate filing system using both the MSB and the LSB along with the PC. Thankfully though, the MODX has a handy properties function where you can find these values, which makes things much simpler as you can see here. Every synth is therefore different and you'll need to either consult the manuals or work out for yourself exactly how the presets are set up on your synth. So how can you use this info to save or trigger MIDI program changes using say your DAW or a MIDI controller? Well, let's look at the DAW first, and here I'm gonna be using Cubase, but the principles are pretty much the same for all other DAWs. When you create a MIDI track for a hardware synth, there are two boxes in the routing section called bank selector and program selector. And I've outlined both of those boxes in red here. The bank selector box on the left is where you enter the MSB and or LSB values. And the program selector on the right is the PC value. For the bank selector, as there is no way of differentiating between MSB and LSB values, we need to use the following formula. MSB times 128 plus LSB. So for the deep mind, bank A equals zero, bank B equals one, bank C equals two, etc. as the deep mind doesn't use MSB values. For preset E88, therefore, I enter four in the bank selector box and 88 in the program selector box. And when I press enter, you'll see the preset on the deep mind change to the required number, E88, like this. For the matrix brute and poly brute, we use the MSB and not the LSB. So using the formula, bank A would be zero, bank B, 128, bank C, 256, bank D, 384, etc., etc. And on the poly brute, it would be similar. For preset F12 on the matrix brute, I would therefore enter 640 in the bank selector box and 12 in the program selector box. And again, when I press enter, you'll see it skips to the correct preset. A rule of thumb is that where a synth only uses LSB values, the banks will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., dependent on how many banks you have. And if it only uses MSB values, then the bank values will be 0, 128, 256, 384, etc., again, dependent on how many banks you have. But then we have the workstation, like my MODX8+, where all three messages are used, 
MSB, LSB and PC. But again, our formula caters for this. Let's take this preset, Kreuzberg Funk. It is MSB64, LSB5 and PC95, as can be seen in the property screen here, which, using our formula, means the bank selector value is 8197, or 64 times 128 plus 5, and the program selector value will be 95. So here you'll see I've got the MODX set to a patch called CFX and FMEP. But if I go to the routing section again and type in 8197 as the bank selector and 95 as the program selector, when I press enter, you'll see that the MODX automatically changes to the correct preset Kreuzberg Funk, like this. That's the door. What about using a MIDI controller? For example, here I'm going to be using the FCB1010 MIDI pedal board. But again, the principles are pretty much the same for any other MIDI controller that can send program changes. You need to know that MSB and LSB have a MIDI CC number assigned to them. MSB has the CC number 00 and LSB has the CC number 32. Taking my deep mind again and preset E88, I know from earlier that the LSB is 4 for bank E and the PC number is 88 for preset 88. In the software editor for the FCB1010, under the first CC, which I've enabled, I would enter CC32 for LSB and a value of 4 in the next column. Then in the program change box, I would enable it and enter 88 under PC1. For the matrix brute and poly brute, I would enter CC00, which is for MSB, and then the relevant value. So if we take our preset earlier on of F12 on the matrix brute, I would enter a value of 5, as that is bank F, and then 12 for the 12th preset in that bank. And for the MODX, I ignore the MSB completely and just enter the LSB value against CC number 32 and the PC value in the PC box. Before signing off, here's a brief summary of the key facts to remember. Program changes can comprise of three messages, MSB, LSB and PC. Some synths only use the MSB, some the LSB and some both, but all use PC messages. The formula for bank select values is MSB times 128 plus LSB. The program selector value is the preset number within its bank and MSB equals MIDI CC number 00 and LSB equals MIDI CC number 32. Remembering these should enable you to work out program changes on any door, MIDI controller or synth. Well, that is just about everything for today and I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. And if you have, please don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that bell as it really does support me in making content like this for you. And if you've got any questions, please post them in the comments and I will get back to you to see if I can help. Indeed, any feedback or comments at all are, of course, highly appreciated. But for now, I've been Graham. Take care and catch you later.